Hello everybody, this is Brendonier Productions. Thought I'd change it up a little bit from my... Hey guys, Brendonier Productions here. But anyway, this is part two of how to add an updater to your Visual Basic 2008-2010 project. Now, I'm going to be starting from right where we left off in part one, which is right here. This is all the coding we had before. And so if you haven't seen part one, you can click on the annotation in the top left-hand corner of the video that should appear now alright yeah click that to go to part one so let's get started in part one we just built the basic code to have the updater work with the update VB library and we just didn't finish two parts and both parts of those are locations now the first location is the location of the check version file now what this file is is it is a text file containing the number of the current version so what it's going to do is the program's going to get that text file and then compare it to the version of its program. If those two numbers differ, then it is going to download the update and end the program and update the program. All right. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make that text file with our Dropbox. So we're just going to open up Dropbox and go to the public folder. Make sure it is in the public folder. Then I already made this folder called Update Test, and um, yes, I'm just going to put mine in there. And then inside this Update or Test folder, or whatever you named yours, you need to make a new text document called version.txt. All right. So what needs to go inside this text document is the current version, and that's pretty much it. Now let's say our program, since we need this uh, updater test to work, we are going to make the current version a little higher than the program version. So the current version is going to be 0 0.2, 5, 4, all right, 2.5, 0.254, all right. Then that's all you need to do. Just make sure your current program version's in there. And keep in mind, every time you need to update your program, you are going to need to change the current version right here as well. So say you were updating your program and you wanted it to be 0.245 or 254. All right, you would just need to change that and then you're good. But right now we're going to leave that at 0.1. All right, so we have the version.txt and now we need to put this location into our program. So we're going to get the URL of this file. This can easily be done by right clicking on it, going to Dropbox and copying the public link. We're then going to put that right before the comma on the check version command in quotation marks. All right, so that's one location done. Well, we're good with that one. And the next location is the location of the update, the actual standalone executable file. Now, here's how you're going to be able to make the update. All right, so we're going to just save this program, build the program. Oh, wrong button. Build the program. All right, and then once we save and build the program, we actually need to create a setup file for it. Um, I'm going to be using the program Setup Stream. You can use any setup creator you'd like, but um, I think Setup Stream is the easiest and the quickest way to do it. So yes, if you want to get Setup Stream, the download link will be in the location. I mean, wait, the download link will be in the description below. Yes. All right, so once you open up Setup Stream, you just want to create a new setup. I uh, make sure you enter all the information. So application title minus updater test version point one company Brennan you know productions homepage my website. And you're just going to press next. Then all you need to do is select the files that need to be installed. So we're going to press browse, add files, and then we're going to find our standalone executable. Uh, so let's find that. I think it's in my documents, my Dropbox Studio. Yeah. There it is, update test. So then we've got to go deep into the bowels, press bin, release, and uh, nothing's there. Hold on, I think I need to build it. Let's build again. Let's go back. Studio 2010, projects, update test, bin, release, still not there, that is okay. Don't 
I've never had this problem before, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, I get it. It doesn't build. All right, it doesn't build because there is an error. So let's just type in something right there. All right, don't don't leave it like that. That's bad. All right, so that's just a filler right now. And then we save and build the project. Then we're going to add the actual release standalone executable into our setup. And since all the, that's all the program, oh wait, totally forgot. Remember, if you're following this tutorial and you're using the update VB library, you need to also ins install the update VB.dll with the standalone executable. All right. So then you're going to press OK, then next, 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 next. All that stuff's gross. All right. Then you want to make sure that web is checked. We do not want CD-ROM, DVD, compressed data package. All right. And let's make a new folder for this so it's update VB test. So then we just press next, it compiles it all, and you can finish. We now need to find the setup file which it just made, so mine was in uh, local disk. My setups, update test, updater test, web. Alright, so there is our setup file right there. We're just going to copy that. So once that's copied, you can totally get rid of that folder. And then you want to update or open your Dropbox again. Now, remember when you open your Dropbox, it looks like this. So then we're just going to go into the public folder, then the update or test folder again, and paste this standalone executable in it. Now we want to make sure that the standalone executable is nice and easy named. We don't want something like update or test with a capital U. So we're going to just change that to update.exe all in lowercase. All right. So now that that's changed, we can right click on the program, get its link, and then we can copy and paste that into the download update. All right, it now has a working location, um, a working location for the update and for the text file, and its version is 0.1, and the current version is 0.254. So technically, we're running an older version of the program. So now we're going to test this out. All right, so we save the project, we build the project, and we're going to debug the project. All right, so the form loads. Nothing happens. Form doesn't even pop up. That's probably because we had it on form load, so it's doing all this stuff before the form even actually pops up. All right, so we give it a little bit of time here. It's downloading the file. And there we go, the setup actually started. See, so now we have Welcome to the Setup Stream Wizard for Brandonia Productions Updater Test Point 1. That's good. Alright, so if you actually want to see what goes on here, we can change all this code to happen on a button. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to copy and paste all this code. First, we're just going to cut the code. We're going to go back to our form, add a button in there. So we're just going to drag that button in there. Now we're going to change the code for the button. So when the button is pressed, all this will happen. Well, now you can see that the form actually pops up and nothing happens. But once we press the button, we get this, uh, oh, oh, OK. All right, so that's a problem with the library itself. So since I created the library, I'll go ahead and fix that. Alright, so thanks for watching this tutorial on how to create an update for your Visual Basic 2010-2008 program. Uh, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, or you can email them to me at brandon at brandonsoft.com. Alright, thanks for watching. Goodbye.